Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle Slovene's formula, finding the sample size. Now, for the formula, for the sample size, it represents the small letter N. Okay, so N is equal to the capital N, which is the population size, over the quantity 1 plus capital NE square. So the small letter N will represent the sample size, the capital N will be the population, and the small e will be the margin error. So let's have some example. Example number one. How many samples are required in a study of the learning styles of students if 5,000 students in Hogwarts are to be considered using 5% margin of error? So we're looking for the sample size, so we are provided with the population. We have 5,000. That's for the capital N. At yung margin of error naman, that will goes, goes to the letter E. So 5%, you have to transform it to decimal. So divide mo ng 100 at tanggalin mo yung percent sign, makukuha mo yung 0 0.05. So lalagyan natin muna yung mismong formula, which is small letter N is equal to capital N over the quantity 1 plus N E square. Ngayon, i-substitute na natin lahat ng given. We have N is equal to 5,000 over the quantity 1 plus 5,000 times more ng 0 0.05 square. Algebraically, you will arrive at 5,000 over 13.5. And the answer for that one will be 370.37 or 370 na lang yung magiging sagot natin because we're looking for students at 300 number of students or sample size so 370 hindi naman pwedeng 370.37 students kung ang lumabas ay 370.5 pataas then that's the time magiging 371 na so i-estimate niyo na lang siya okay so let's go to example number 2 how many samples are required in a study of the learning styles of students if 5,000 students in Hogwarts are to be considered using 97% precision? Okay, same lang naman yung number of students kanina, which is sample number 1 is 5,000. Ngayon naman, ang nagbago lang is using 97% precision. So, ano yung margin of error dito? Now, to get the margin of error, Ang margin of error natin ay 100%, ma-minus mo siya sa precision rate. Ang precision rate can also be called confidence level. Okay? So, to other problems, minsan precision rate or minsan confidence level siya. So, para makuha mo yung margin of error, yung 100%, i-minus mo siya dun sa precision rate or confidence level. So, in this problem, we have 100% minus pa ng 97% and the margin of error natin dito sa problem ito will be 3%. So now that we have the margin of error and the population size, we can now solve for the sample size. So again, place the formula and after that, we can now substitute the given. So sample size is equal to 5,000 over the quantity 1 plus 5,000 times mo ng 0 0.03 square. Okay, always remember, unay mo muna yung square. So, 0 0.03 square muna, tapos sa times mo ng 5,000, and that's the time doon ka lang mag-a-add ng 1. So, yung denominator natin, that will be 5.5, at ang numerator natin will still stay the same. That is 5,000. So, algebraically, if you're going to simplify it, ang 5,000 divided mo ng 5.5, that will be 909.09. .09. And again, we have to estimate it, so that will be 909 na lang. Alright, so it's your turn and we're going to have a mini quiz. So the question is, how many samples are required in a study of the learning styles of students if 3,000 students in Hogwarts are to be considered using 98% confidence level? I will give you around 5 to 10 seconds. You may want to pause the video naman. And after that, I will provide you with the answer and solution. Okay, so time's up. The answer is 1,364. That's for the sample size. Okay, sample size natin dito sa tanong na to ay 1,364. I will explain step by step paano natin 
ano yun, nakapag-arrive dun sa sagot na 1,364. Okay, papansin nyo yung tanong, we have the 98% confidence level. So, hindi agad margin of error ang binigay sa atin sa give it. So, you have to transform it. So, margin of error is equal to 100% minus mo ng precision rate or confidence level. So, 100% minus mo ng 98%, that will be 2%. So, margin of error natin dito will be 2%. If we're going to convert it in decimal, you just have to divide it by 100 and remove my percent sign. So that will be 0 0.02. Next, you have to place the formula and substitute it. So m is equal to 3000 over the quantity 1 plus 3000 times mo siya ng 0 0.02 square. So again, if we're going to solve it, 0 0.02 square muna times mo ng 3000 plus mo ng 1. At yung denominator natin will be 2.2. For the numerator, it will stay the same. So the answer for this one is 3,000 divided by 2.2 will be 1,363.64. Round up mo na siya, and 1,364 ang sagot. And that's the end of the video about Slovene's formula finding the sample size. Next video natin will be about Slovene's formula also, but this one, we're going to find the margin of error. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos ng math and language. Thank you. Bye-bye.